Briani and the Loud Clark. Briani is a very hard working engine who works at Center Island Quarry on the Hofstad Harbor Branch. She's the leader of a quarry and a good friend to all. Hello, Briani, full broke up. But sometimes the quarry can be very loud. Ooh, said Briani, such a very loud quarry. One day, Brianni shunted into the siding by the rock crusher. Her wheels were very loud. She biffed the trucks angrily. Leilani came through shunting some vans and a flatbed very loudly. Watch out, said Brianni. You're being too loud. The quarry should be a quiet place. I don't like too much noise. It hurts my eardrums. She whistled. Pompously. You have to take care and be quiet. If anything, said Leilani, you're being the loudest engine in the quarry with your ticky wheels. Briani was cross. Ticky wheels, she said. I'll show you. I'll show everybody. I'm the quietest engine. Suit yourself, said Leilani, and she chucked quickly away. Oh, said Brianna, and she puffed quickly after her. The Leilani jumped loudly down the line. Huh? Brianna tried her best to be quiet, but her wheels kept ticking along. Madison was on the whole quarry road. She collected a new freight car for the workmen. Mr. Carter Markson was waiting for it. Madison chucked noisily away. Brianni arrived at Great Waterton Station. She steamed noisily into the yard. Well done, said the workman. You arrived on time. Then Ciara pulled me. Her wheels screeched. Brianni puffed angrily. You must stop being so loud. Oh, I hate noise so much. You are the noisiest engine of all, said Ciara. And we work in a quarry of all places, said Brianni. And I hate that it's so loud. You Do you hear yourself, said Ciara. It's a quarry. It's meant to be loud. What are you going to do, search for a new job? Then... Carter Markson rushed over. Please, he said. I need someone to take me to see the fat controller at once, he boomed. We have to have a very important meeting. A special order must be filled. I'll take you, said Brianni. Where's this meeting? At Wellsworth, responded Markson. I shall take you right away, said Brianni. It'll be a nice change of pace from the quarry. I'm tired of this rock crushing business. So Brianni was uncoupled, the car marks him on board, she puffed quickly away. Now, I will show you, silly engines, what it means to be useful. Brianni arrived at Wellsworth Station. Brianni delivered Mr. Carter Markson to Wellsworth Station. Thank you, said Mr. Markson. Top of we have to have a meeting. Please, sir, may I go off and help other engines? Have you finished your work down at the quarry? Yes, I have, said Brianni. Then you may, but Brianni wasn't telling the truth. I have to have a meeting with Mr. Markson. It's very urgent, said Markson. Come on now, let's go. Let's not dawdle. Brianni knew she had lied to the fat controller, but she didn't want to work at the quarry anymore. 
Luigi, fire away. Please stop him. In the station office, please. Of course. Follow me. So, Topham, how are things? Well, Markson, how are things down at the quarry? Um, grand. So, a special order must be filled, and we are to fill it by Friday. Um, I need select engines to work on the special. I was thinking maybe Ciara, Briani, Madison, you know, the usual quarry crew. How do you figure? Boom, the fat controller. We shall add extra trucks to the train. If this order must be filled by Friday, we don't have much time, so we'll add loads of trucks. But that's too much on one engine. It was supposed to be multiple deliveries in that day, but we'll get the job done quicker, said Sir Topham. And anyways, I learned the railway. What do you run? You don't even run the quarry. Well, the quarry master's on holiday, so I've been put in charge. Oh, I can't deal with the smaller people. I'm leaving. Topham, wait! I've got hot dogs! Hot dogs! Wait! I'll definitely get back at Topham for that. He'll see. Huh. I don't like standing on my tables anyhow. Topham is so arrogant. Briani was puffing along the old quarry road. She was looking for the other engines. Briani probably made her way to Brendan Docks. Salty was hard at work pushing and pulling freight. Hello, Salty. Oh, hello me, Artie. Um, if the dog's a quiet place to work, I can't move the quarry. Salty was surprised. Um, I don't mind the extra wheel around here. Please, Salty. The dog's is a very quiet place. But Salty was upset. You shall have to go back to the quarry. It's where you belong, he said. So Brianny chopped away. Brianni was steaming along the highway line. She was having a splendid time. I must find another engine who wants me to help them. A quiet job. The Homestead Hollow Station was very, very busy. When Brianni arrived, Gabby arrived to drop off passengers when Brianni whooshed in. Please, Gabby, wait, she said. And she steamed into the station. Gabby was surprised. What happened? I know pulling passengers on the branch line is a very quiet job, and I can't work at the quarry anymore. Please, can I help you? Oh, Brianni, I'd love to help you. have you help out. But you love the quarry work. I know you do. And doing quarry work is only fun if it's your heart's in it. That's right, said Johnny the boss. <laughs> a job's only worth doing if your heart's in it, and I know your heart's not in leaving the quarry. So go back to the quarry. Brianni was upset. She knew Gabby was right. She didn't want to go back to the quarry just yet. Hello, Brad the bus. Is it true what Gabby says? I've heard all about it, said Brad. You ought to return back to the quarry at once. Hmm. There's bound to be an engine at seas otherwise, said Brianni, and she steamed away. Brianni puffed into Nanford Station. The station was busy. Gordon was waiting for his express. Hello, said Brianni. Hello, said Gordon. How can I help you? Brianna told Gordon all about wanting to find a quiet place to work. Home, said Gordon. A job is only worth doing if you do it well. And I've heard you work in a quarry very well. So you ought to stay in the quarry, said Gordon. 
And plus, the fat controller likes an engine to do as they're told. Rihanna knew Gordon was right. Although it hurt to hear the truth, it felt good to hear the truth. The other engines are right, said Rihanna. Four, said Deagle. You can just do what I say. And what's that? Go back to work, grumbled Diesel. All the engines on Soda are talking about you running around trying to find a quiet place to work. And it's tiresome hearing the same story three times. So just go back to where you work. You're happiest there. Rihanna knew the Diesel was right. So she talked away. Rihanna returned to the quarry. The other engines were cross. Where have you been? said Tiara. We have to do all the work without you. And a special order apparently must be filled, and I'm not strong enough to pull the train, she pouted. You failed on us, said Chloe. Not very useful, said Goliath. Scrap them, back them up, said Goliath. I know, and I'm sorry, said Brianna. Please, I will work very hard. I realize that the quarry is where I want to be. It's where I need to be. I don't need to be anywhere else. So, the fact Brianna was pulling workmen, she was shunting freight cars, and whooshing through tunnels. The other engines were very surprised. Well done. Even Goliath was impressed. I realized that the quarry is where I'm supposed to be, and that's why I'm proud to be the number 24 engine on the island of Soho. No other engines can wear this number. If they do, they're an imposter. And I'm proud to have big, loud wheels that clank even louder when I work hard. And that makes me very happy indeed.